Sometimes people like to joke about people who are behind their keyboards tweeting about things but not actually doing something. Well, there is a very real way you can help the fight against global warming um, from your very own computer chair. And it's not through tweeting, but it kind of is. I mean, that's a different argument as to whether or not yeah. getting a conversation started is contributing or not. I think it is. Uh, but there are other things you can do practically. Mm -hmm. um, scientists uh, such as Michelle LaRue, who is studying uh, Antarctica, specifically Weddell seals, which are the southernmost mammals in the world. She is wanting to study them in order to figure out how global warming is affecting them and therefore can be applied to help us see how to cope with global warming as it affects coastal regions uh, north of Antarctica, which is all coastal regions. <laughs> She's putting her project on Tomnod. Tomnod is a crowdsourcing site that asks users to visibly scour satellite images such as this one up here. So with it, you are able, or what she's hoping to happen is for people to spot the seals, which look like just tiny dots against the white snow, and to be able to figure out where they are, how many there are, and compare it against data from other years in order to figure out how are they dealing with uh, global warming's effect on their habitat. These kinds of seals like to hang out on the edges, like to hang out on um, icy yeah, pieces. Yeah, the, the coastal floor, coastal ice floor, ice floor. It's gonna be weird to try to track them because these little dots are like grains of rice, mm -hmm. which means not only you're gonna have to try to zoom in and enhance the image to as much as your computer will allow, mm -hmm. but you gotta hope your eyes don't strain out. Yeah, it's not it's not an easy task. It's not I an mean, easy it's, task. It's kind of tedious. It's kind of difficult. You have to zoom in, but if you want to, you can certainly be one of the users on this site. According to them, um, one user has viewed twenty thousand images on their own, and there are about fifteen to twenty super users who have contributed a lot to this project. <laughs> Uh, which is essentially zooming in. This reminds me a lot of the Amazon Mechanical Turk, yes. in which people are um, doing what seems like smaller, tedious pieces of uh, information gathering instead of having a computer do it. Yeah, but again, to one person to, to view 20,000 images, mm -hmm. you've just sat there and was like, you've dedicated so much time to this. Granted, you may believe in the cause and you may help, want to help out as immensely as much as possible, but to look at 20,000 images of small dots and to make sure, and to de delineate if this is a seal or just a dot mm -hmm. or something else, that's got to be the hardest thing. It's hard, but if you want to do it, you definitely can. Yes. Um, I think this is an interesting piece of technology, Tom Knott itself. It is uh, from a Digital Globe Foundation, which is a nonprofit arm of a commercial satellite company, which is able to use the resources we already have, the satellite images, to do good on other projects, including um, looking at satellite imagery of Puerto Rico before and after Hurricane Maria to find the hardest hit areas to help people uh, allocate resources if possible and to work into other uh, perhaps global issues or mm -hmm. at least visibly globally uh, such as food scarcity in the Sudan. I think it's a really cool project. If you want to help them out, you certainly can via the link below. Audience, would you do something like this? Let us know your thoughts on Facebook and Twitter.